Hey guys, you know from the title of this video what exactly we're going to be talking about today. That's right, we're talking about how you, as a teacher who has trained in a country other than the UK, can land a job in the UK in a teaching profession. Now, I'm making this video especially because a lot of you had pinged me about this and asked me for information on this topic and have been reminding me every week. <laughs> so, you know who you are. This video is especially for you. I do hope it helps you land that job in the UK right away. So, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you what qualifications you require to work in the UK, all about the QTS, the very, very important for your rule, what salary you can expect and how you can even land a job where you can find these jobs. Now, without wasting any more time, I'm Ashika and let's dive right in. Now, let's cover the basics. To teach in England, you require teaching skills and experience, to pass a criminal and professional safeguarding check and to get the right visa or the status. What also helps is if you have QTS. The first thing you need to know is about QTS. QTS or Qualified Teacher Status is the professional status teachers in England gain at the end of their teacher training. Now, if you've qualified outside the UK, you can work as a teacher in the UK for up to four years without the QTS. Now, after that, you will need QTS to teach in many schools. It's not a legal requirement in all types of schools. However, even in these schools, having QTS can help with your application. Let's talk about how you can get your QTS. You can get it if you have a degree and more than two years teaching experience. You can achieve QTS by completing the assessment only route without doing any more training. If you as a teacher have a degree but have limited teaching experience, you can train to teach on a course that will give you QTS by applying to the TRA, the Teaching Regulation Agency. Or you can complete a teacher training course in England. Now, if you look at the first route, which is apply to the Teaching Regulation Agency, you can apply if you are from the EEA, Gibraltar, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Switzerland, or the USA. You can submit evidence that you are recognized as a teacher in the country where you're qualified and that you're not prohibited or restricted from teaching by a professional sanction against you. Now, this evidence can include documents that show your official status as a teacher from the organization that regulates teachers in your country. You will not need to do any further teaching training or undergo an assessment to get QTS via this route. Now, if you're not sure whether you qualify or not, all you need to do is visit this link. The second route is the assessment only QTS to demonstrate that you meet the standards for qualified teacher status. If you have a teaching qualification for a country that's not a part of the EEA and is not Gibraltar, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Switzerland or the USA, the assessment only QTS may be the most appropriate route for you. Assessment only QTS means experienced teachers with degrees can gain QTS without doing a teacher training program. You can apply to a UK government approved teacher training provider in England for an assessment showing that you meet the standards for QTS. You don't need to visit the UK to be assessed or gain QTS. You can also come to England to teach under the four-year rule and you will be able to apply to a teacher training program offering assessment only QTS in the region of England where you work. Your school can help you with this. In order to apply for assessment only QTS, you do not need a formal training teacher qualification, but you must have a minimum of two years teaching experience, a first degree from a UK or a non-UK university, and have achieved a standard equivalent to grade four in GCSE English language and mathematics. In case you're teaching children aged three to 11 in an English primary school, the standard equivalent to grade four in GCSE, science, biology, chemistry, or physics subjects. If your qualifications come from a non-UK institution, your assessment only teacher training provider may want to see a statement of comparability showing how they compare to UK qualifications. Now, if you're not sure how to go about this, you can call the Department of Education Get Into Teaching website on 0800 389 2500 
for guidance on UK equivalence of your qualifications, or for a free statement of comparability from UK ENIC once you've submitted your application if your provider asks for this. Your teaching experience must consist of time spent teaching as opposed to other responsibilities in a school, have taken place in two separate schools, and demonstrate you've taught young people from a range of different backgrounds. It should also demonstrate that you're familiar with different approaches to teaching, learning, and school management. Your teaching experience can have been gained in any type of school. Your teaching experience can have been spent teaching a non-English curriculum and can have been divided between two school settings as long as you have two years teaching experience in total. Now, how to apply for an assessment only QTS? Your application for assessment only QTS must be made to one of the UK government's approved assessment only teacher training providers in England. You will not need to visit or train in England to do assessment only QTS. An assessment of your teaching will be carried out in person at the place of your work by an examiner from your chosen teacher training provider. The fees range from £1,500 to £4,000 but vary between providers and maybe a lot more if you're outside the UK. So do remember to check with individual providers for more details. Before you apply, you should ideally contact your chosen teacher training provider directly to check if they accept international applications for assessment only QTS, to check if they can come to your country to do the assessment, to confirm your eligibility for assessment only, and to learn more about specific requirements. If your application is successful, the assessment only provider will help you put together a portfolio of your teaching work to demonstrate you meet the English teacher standards, to carry out an assessment of your teaching, to ask to see evidence of your qualifications, and to potentially ask you to sit a test to demonstrate your written and spoken English is fluent, accurate and clear and equivalent to grade 4 in GCSE English language. Also to potentially ask you to sit a test to demonstrate your mathematics knowledge and for primary school teaching, science knowledge is equivalent to grade 4 in GCSE mathematics or science. You will also need to have a health and physical capacity to train to teach, undergo safeguarding checks to assess your suitability to teach carried out by your assessment only provider, if your assessment only provider is satisfied you've met the standards, you will be awarded QTS and will be able to apply for teaching jobs in England. If you fail to meet the standards, you can reapply when you've gained more relevant skills and experience and gain your QTS by training to teach in England. Now the third route is complete a teacher training course in England leading to QTS. All non-UK citizens can apply to teach in England Train to Teach in England non-UK applicants explains the academic qualifications and visa you'll need and how to apply for a teacher training course. Now, remember I had spoken about the four-year rule a little earlier? Well, I hope you remember because the four-year rule is really, really, really important and could be your ticket to moving to the UK sooner than you expected. Overseas teachers can teach in maintained schools and non-maintained special schools in England without QTS for up to four years. This is called the four-year rule. The four-year rule applies to overseas teachers who meet all of the following conditions. That they have qualified as a teacher in a country outside the UK. That they have completed a course of training that is recognized by the competent authority of that country. And they are employed in maintained schools and non-maintained special schools but not a pupil referral unit. Now, you're probably wondering what kind of visa you would need if you decided to move to the UK as a teacher. Here's the good news. If you've been watching all of my videos, you'd realize that you need a skilled worker visa. And if you've watched all my old videos, you probably know most of the information you need to already on how to get one. However, in this case, there are a few more clauses. You would have to be offered a job by a licensed home office employee sponsor. You should be able to read, write, speak and understand English. And the role should pay at least £20,480 or the relevant minimum rate for teachers in England, whichever is higher. 
If the role is part-time, the pro rata rates will apply as long as the salary is at least £20,480 a year. Now, moving on, where do you even find these jobs? Where do you start looking in case you're not sure? Well, it's simple. You go back to the UK Bible, which is gov.uk. Visit this link that I've added and it lists out all the teaching opportunities available right now. You can filter for what type of jobs you're looking for or the location or postcode that you're interested in working in. And now, coming to probably what might be the most important question ever. How much money can you make? Well, I've got that covered too, so that's the good news. New teachers can make between £25,714 and £32,157, depending on where you teach. Senior teachers in London can make between £39,864 to £50,935. And head teachers can make between £48,901 to £125,098. Now, if you want more information on how you can get a skilled worker visa, which is the visa that's required for this profession, all you need to do is click this video and don't forget to subscribe.